Good evening team. I just recorded this twice, and I know the first thing that I'm gonna do when I fucking find a job around here is I'm going to replace this fucking camera because it can only record for 10 minutes. Get quick! So there's a couple of things I wanted to say. Now I have to say them hella faster because I've only got 10 fucking minutes. Also, camera won't tell me when it stops recording. No more beep, it doesn't beep anymore. It just fucking, like the lens just goes, I'm done, it's like, fuck you. I've come to the conclusion that what I'm going to do out of all the different options and all the different things I've been thinking about, especially with my health being poor, I mean, I'm doing far better than I was back then over the last like couple of months. Um, but during that period of time, I had a lot of time to think and I had a lot of time to plan and I had like five options. The best option out of the five options is to simply continue to upload onto the Dante channel, even though monetarily I will get nothing out of it, but I want to upload as often as I can. But the problem is if I cannot sustain my very, very small budget that I live on through being incredibly reamed by Machinima, then my only option is to find a job nearby. Now, I know that that sounds incredibly obvious and that many people have probably said like, duh, just, just get a job. But for those of you who've been listening, you guys know that my town is a little small tourist town and work around here is few and far between. And so right around now is when people are starting to come in and people are going to go fishing and there's going to be a lot more shit going on. So I'm going to try to hunt even harder than I have before and be a bit more aggressive to find a job. Once that happens, and I can say that everything that I have, my apartment, my electric, and my internet, my dog food, and my food are all paid for, which is a very small amount of money. Once all that's taken care of, then I can start taking steps to actually revitalizing my channel and bringing it back to the par standard that I want it at. And that is something that I haven't been able to do in a long time. Even when I was uploading like crazy and growing. I still didn't have the, the ability to, cause like right, right as I was peaking in the amount of revenue that I was generating on the channel, you know, to put away for like better equipment and things like that. I still have my microphone from like 2011. I still have the same computer from 2011. Uh, everything I have is almost from 2010, 2011. So I really need to be able to get new stuff throw more money into a better product and have more fun. And if I'm having more fun, you guys are getting not only more videos, but better videos. And hopefully you're gonna get more vlogs as well. And I wanna be able to do that. Now, the decision to not go with a brand new channel is, is very simple. If I ever wanted to have any leverage to <clears throat> do any videos with you know, another channel based on you know, uh, subscriber number and whatever, because that's how people think. They're like, well, you know, your subscriber number is near mine, uh, blah, 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 you have an audience there. So this and that and this and that. So for me to be able to approach these other people that I really like to want to do stuff with them, uh, which is a major trend right now and has been for like the last year, I have to be able to have a, a presentable channel that is not brand new, that um, has shown growth. And I like the Dante channel. Dante is who I am. It's, 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 it's always been who I am. We all pick a, a name that we want ourselves to be known as on the internet when we're little. And sometimes it's a mistake and it's like, I love cats too, uh, too much LOLs or some shit. But then you actually like land on something you really love and that really identifies with you. And that's fucking me. And I went through all this work to create all these new assets and stuff for the Crit Strike channel. And I approached an artist to create a new background and everything. But I want to be able to ride out the last six months of this bullshit contract and then look at my options and see what I can do. And that's another part of it too. Like if I approach another network and say, hey, I'm no longer with Machinima um, and I have this channel, the Dante channel, which has like whatever it has now, 49,000 subscribers, which is completely understandable. I'm not gonna cry about people leaving because there hasn't been any content. But the thing is, if I approach another network, they're gonna be more inclined to pick me up rather than like, oh, you have 3,000 subs or something? Well, fuck, you know? And it's a lot harder to sort of move people around and try to get audiences moved into a new channel and everything like that. 
Uh, and there's a lot of stuff I do want to talk about when it comes to Guild Wars 2, but I want to talk about it closer to a release date because there's a lot of like speculation, there's a lot of unfinished shit right now when it comes to the game. And honestly, I do like some of the things that I'm seeing, but again, there are, you guys know that there's that, that small little aspect of an MMORPG that I just want to have in that game. And that is personal player prestige. Please give me that. If you give me that in Guild Wars 2, I will play the fuck out of Guild Wars 2. You, I will have a thousand million reasons to play it. But until then, it really is just an achievement grind and a happy-go-lucky community of happy people who, who will just think the game is the greatest thing on the planet when in fact uh, other games have had newer ideas but have fallen flat on their face in execution, unfortunately that these people who love Guild Wars 2 are completely unaware of. Like, Arc Age had like, all these really great ideas, but it fell flat on its, on its face because of shit. Sorry, I'm trying to burp. That's my plan of attack right now, is step one, find a job. Once I get the ball rolling on that, a lot, a lot of other outside resources, such as you guys on Patreon and any donations uh, that I get through streaming, which streaming I'll be able to do more often once I do have a job, and being able to buy other games and playing other games and stuff like that. I was just playing Guns of Icarus. There's going to be a Guns of Icarus video uh, sometime in the future, but it's just the stress of not being able to maintain all of this, to maintain my apartment, to maintain feeding myself, my dog, paying for my internet and paying for my electricity that really has just been very debilitating to me and, uh, and to my health. And all of that, if you take all of that and you, and you package that into a little ball, that is like $400 a month. That's all that is. A job would fix that. Um, a lot of other things that I can do, like even my microphone that I have, that, that, I got that microphone in 2011. I built that computer in 2011. I need to be able to bring like more professional equipment into what I do to provide a more professional product. And when I like the product, when I'm happier with what the product is, I can have more fun in producing the videos, which means you're going to see more videos and you're going to see better, better videos. That really is like the whole circle of a thing. I really did want to share that with you. I am going to continue to can to just have the Dante channel. I'm not going to start up a new channel between now and actually getting a job. I want to try vlogging more often, uh, as often as I possibly can. But again, like I said before, the reason you didn't see a whole lot of vlogs is two things. One, my health was pretty shitty, and two, there really wasn't a whole lot of positivity to talk about. It was all just me being angry and upset and sad and a bunch of dumb shit and I didn't want to I didn't want to throw that on top of you guys and make you guys feel bad because I think I, I'd like to think that you guys look forward to watching one of my videos whether it be a vlog or uh, anything else and have a, a, a positive time instead of you know being brought down and feeling guilty or some shit like that because I don't like doing that to you guys um, but yes so that is all I wanted to say uh, wish me luck and um, and it's been pretty shitty. It has. Let me give you just an example of how shitty it was. There were two jobs that involved camera work and video editing, and I didn't get the jobs. Why? Because I don't have any college experience. I'm capable of doing the fucking work, but these assholes were like, did you graduate from college? I'm like, fuck no, I'm completely self-taught. Well, we will, you don't qualify. Well, eat my dick then. Eat my dick then. <laughs> I'll update you guys as best as, as often as I possibly can. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget about junk. Get crit. Ugh.